What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, world? Just got done watching the Cavs versus Bulls game five, Clippers versus Houston game five, and you know this is set it here first. Your boy J Star. So today's topic is going to be how many game sevens is it going to be? I mean, we already know it's going to be four game sixes. So how many game sevens? I'm going to say it here first. There's only going to be one. <laughs> I got one. Um, I feel like every series is about to get, every other series is going to get closed out. Um, Clippers is closing out in game six. I do feel like it's going to be a dramatic ending. Uh, it's going to come down to four, you know, six, maybe two points, maybe another game winning shot. Um, I do feel like it's going to be a close game six, but the Clippers going to pull that out. I got, man, with with John Wall being out, I actually might just have to change my um, my pick and put pick um, Atlanta now. Atlanta to win that because, man, that, that was big, you know, for them winning that game. Like now with John Wall being out, I mean, it's nobody really to, like, go against Teague and challenge Teague. So, Jeff Teague now probably will ball out. And Atlanta will pull out that series in six. And then, uh, who am I missing here? Oh, yeah. I'm going to, of course, save the Cavs for last. But with the Warriors in Memphis, I got I got the Warriors pulling it out now. They're going to go home and win it. Game five at home tomorrow. Um, they're going to win that game. And they're going to go back to Memphis and win that game. It would be a lot closer, I'm pretty sure, than whatever game five is going to be like for them because I'm pretty sure they might just blow out Memphis in game five. For real, they're back home this two. They have the best home court advantage. I mean, their they're building is too loud. <laughs> Every shot they make is, is, like, crazy. So I got Warriors pulling that out in game six. It's going to be a close one, too, in game, of course, game six in Memphis. Memphis don't just go out like some punks or something. You know, they're going to go out fighting, definitely. But, so... That will lead Cleveland to be the only game seven out of the four. I just do not see my main man, you know, got my I promise band on right here. I just don't see my boy LeBron putting them away in game six. I just don't, man. They they let the Bulls get too confident by letting them come. It was about like 20 almost points or something like that this game. And then they let them come back and won by almost like, what, almost two or four points, whatever. That's, come on, man. You got to put them away, man. If they would have put them away, you know, with like 10-point, 15-point lead, I would have said they have a chance to win a close game six. But I definitely feel like um, – so if they play – what's that, Friday? Yeah, because wait, tomorrow they play Thursday, huh? Okay. So they'll play Thursday, then they'll push that to what, Saturday, I guess? Man, Saturday or Sunday, whatever day they push it to for game seven. It's going to be a game seven for Cleveland. I feel like it's going to be one, like I said, out of the four, unless – <laughs> I will put this in here, unless Seti here first, unless John Wall comes back. If somehow John Wall comes back for game six or whatever it will be, because I know he's not coming back the next game, not with that, his hand is swollen. But if he comes back, then it will be two game sevens. Like, just like that, it will be two out of the four. But if he doesn't come back, like I said, it's going to be one. You heard it here first, on Seti here first. Like I said, boy J-Star, how many game sevens is going to be? One. <laughs> LeBron James versus D-Rose, y'all. Um, it's going to be a good one, too. I'll tell you that much. I'm not going to call the winner. Woo, we just got to wait to see. Peace, y'all.